So this is kind of a weird video, but um, I've been doing some thinking and I figured, hey, why not get on here and talk a little bit about it and uh, maybe you guys can <laughs> learn something or just laugh at me, whatever you prefer. I'm 22 and I want to learn to be confident. Now, when we talk about confidence, right, in the context of being a Christian, like, should Christians be confident? Is that boastful? Is that is that not humble thing to do? Well, you know, generally when I think about confidence, I think about, look, yeah, we're not supposed to be prideful so or boastful. So, like, you know, we do something and we're like, it's all about me, you know, pumping our chest, that kind of thing. But confidence, I think, is, a, is more of a security in the talents and abilities and gifts that God has given us. It's just a security in, like, somebody's going to say something to us. It's not going to rock our world. It's gonna, not going to, like, tear us down. We are secure. Oh, dog barking. Nice. We are secure in God's in what God says of us, right? That's like the confidence in him. It's not this like going out to shout to everybody. How awesome am I? It's like I'm secure and confident to be able to get done what I need to get done because God's power and his presence is in me and with me and all that stuff. And um, yeah, so anyway, to get to, I don't know, the, the whole point of this video uh, for the last, for as long as I can remember, I have not been a confident person, right? I, I may purport to be, or maybe on social media, you watch me you're like, whoa, he's really confident being able to like, you know, talk on social media and stuff and say a bunch of stuff. But if you meet me in person, and maybe I might even like be in a mood where I'm like really uppity and really, um, I don't know, extroverted. But generally, that's not the case. Generally, I feel pretty insecure, honestly. And it's just like now that I'm trying to figure out why that is, why I feel, um, I don't know, just this like lingering, like, <laughs> I don't know. It just, I, I feel like, I don't know if I'm the only one that experiences this. I feel like I should be over this at my age, like at my age of 22, but seriously, it's like, no, like, I, I don't know. People are like, yeah, we love confident people, confident people that know that what they're doing. And there's some people that just have like an air of confidence around them. And I just feel like I'm not one of those people. And I think that has to do with a lot of things. I think it has to do with my own perception of myself. Like, as much as I preach on here about, look, see yourself as how God sees you. And, you know, when God says you are, you know, he delights in you and you're fearfully and wonderfully made and all that stuff. And like that, take that to heart and use that as like fuel for confidence and for security in him. I feel like I catch myself, um saying terrible stuff to myself like there are times when i'm in this like productive space where i'm getting things done and i feel good about myself and i'm and i'm making something of my life and that kind of thing and then there are other times where i'm not and i can't figure out what the best thing is to do or i can't figure out what i even should do and i just feel like garbage and i just feel like man what i'm, I'm such a loser and and all that stuff and i and and so what i'm trying to do is figure out okay, what's the root of all this like guilt and shame and, and self-condemnation, self-hate and, and all that stuff. And, and because I want to get to the, the source of it, because right now it's like, I kind of have a toxic relationship with social media and I don't like to admit that, but it's kind of true in, in some ways because like, man, like the numbers, they do impact how I feel like it's really like I would like that not to be the case but it's just true it's like okay I get you know I post a video and it gets like a thousand views or two thousand views and I'm like oh man this is awesome this is great for me and then I post another video it's got like 300 views and I'm like what did I do wrong like what, what, you know, and, and obviously you're like, but Isaac, just use that as motivation to get better in the next one and just, you know, find out what you did wrong and, and do it. And I'm like, yeah, but it's not that simple. I don't know sometimes. And it can be frustrating. And also it's like, I tie so much of my identity to what I do because that's just what our nature is. We just do that, even though we're not supposed to do that because that's not good because that's not even where we should be finding our identity. That's not where we find our self-worth and what we do. But it's inevitable that I find myself this war going on where I'm like, I am defined by what I do online. And when that's not going as well as I, as I want it to, then it kind of impacts how I feel about myself and to go full circle. And in fact, it affects my confidence, especially in person. Like if I'm meeting new people and stuff like that, like they're like, what do you do? And I'm like, well, I do a bunch of different things. I have a bunch of different jobs, but my main passion is like daily disciple and my ministry. And they're like, 
you know, they, they're interested in it. And I'm just kind of like, yeah, but don't, don't pay too much attention to the numbers. It's like, oh, they're like only a thousand views on a YouTube video. I'm like, I mean, that's a good video for me. <laughs> but to them, it's like, oh, well, you know, I, I follow people that have millions of followers and stuff like that. And, and so it's tough. It's like one of those things where, and obviously it hasn't been so bad to where I've quit. Like I'm never quitting. You guys know that, but I'm just telling you the thoughts and feelings behind what I'm trying to work on and heal from. And it's like, I got to stop treating social media as like, um, I don't know, it can tear me down so easily when I tie my identity into it, but it can build me up so fast if something goes well. Like, to the extent where, look, if I post a TikTok right now, and it does really well, like it got 10,000 views, and I'm just being honest with you guys, I would feel really good about that. I'd feel like, oh man, this is good, and I have a good evening. But if I were to post a TikTok right now, and it were to get 300 views, I'd feel like garbage. I'd be like, okay, I'd be processing throughout the, the rest of the night trying to make something that's going to get me that hit that I need in order to feel good. And obviously that's not the full motivation of what I'm doing. Like I'm passionate about making content and videos and stuff because I want you guys to follow Jesus daily. Like I truly believe that's the heart of what I'm doing. But what crowds in on that and what gets in the way of that is like <laughs> my self-worth and wanting to feel like I'm making a difference and making an impact in, in your lives and in people's lives. And sometimes that's hard to know. And when you don't feel like that's the case, you, you man, it tears me up. And like, I have to say, like, it's been great over the last months, like God has been really kind to me and, and bringing more people to check out daily disciples content, and all that stuff. But even still, I, I find myself like, <clears throat> I don't know, cowering away from even people like older than me, like, I don't know, like, you know, people my dad's age or something like that, where I'll just be like, I don't know, I just feel embarrassed for myself, like I'm not measuring up to where I should be, or like I'm not in university or um, you know, like, uh, who am I? Am I just to screw up? Like, that's how, and I know that's dark. I know, like, whatever, this is a therapy session. That's fine. But that's how I feel sometimes. And so, and maybe you feel that way too. Um, I guess is what I want to go the way around to try to relate. Maybe you're, you're going through this too. You, you're in a spot where you feel like you're not where you should be. You're not like in the career that you feel like people would respect or you're not, like whatever it is and and that's taken a big hit on on how you feel about yourself and how you frame your day to day and and all that stuff and something i've been exploring is is kind of this idea two ideas first thing is reframing so looking at a situation looking at your day to day and and trying to look at it from a you know a, a different perspective trying to take on other people's perspective maybe if you were like a friend looking in on this how would you see the situation and how would you feel about it and what would you say being able to take that outside situation outside perspective and uh, and reframe a situation or look at it from a different angle that's one thing also it's understanding that look what we do the numbers the 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 accolades the the productivity the like all that stuff, we built that stuff up so much in our hearts and our minds that we, 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 it's so personal to us, right? Like that defines us. And when, when that doesn't go exactly as we want it, man, we're crushed. And, and I guess I just want to say is that like when you're, when you become aware of that, it is not just a thing that you can just like snap out of like, because obviously you know that because I've said on this channel multiple times that it's like that I've kind of struggled with this and this like feeling of not being enough, not enough, um, not working hard enough, all that stuff. And you're like, Isaac, you knew that. So why don't you just fix it? Well, you can't just fix it. It's a battle. It's a continual like thing throughout the day that I'm like forced to <sighs> take a deep breath, pray to God, God, I'm not feeling well right now. I feel like I'm failing. I feel like I'm not measuring up. I feel like what I'm doing doesn't matter. Can you help me in this? Can you be with me? Can you clothe me with your presence and your peace to know that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing right now? And sometimes that's all you can do. I like uh, you, as much as we want to fix things right now, you, you can't just fix this. But but what we need to be continually turning our eyes to is the security we have in Christ. Like right now, and I mean, this is kind of response. Like I, I was, I was struggling with this. I was thinking about this today and just before I shot this video and that's kind of wanted, I, why I wanted to shoot this video. 
because I, I I felt like luck at least <laughs> at least I can share this with somebody else like all this thinking and and struggle won't just go into nothing it'll at least be there for you to relate to and learn from maybe but I don't really have much more to say than that um yeah anyway um if you're struggling with this you know <laughs> you're not alone um 